will present our thesis entitled The Level of Preparedness of Biological Science Student Teachers as Perceived by Their Cooperating Teachers Academic Year 2019-2020. And the presenters are Ms. Angel, Ms. De La Cruz, Ms. Escalembergo, Ms. Magtulis, and yours truly, Ms. Chidoro. In this presentation, we will discuss the chapter, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, and chapter 4. Okay, let's start. I am Ms. Guianica Espelembergo to present the first chapter of our thesis, which is the introduction and the background of the study. Student teaching has been described as the capstone of pre-service teacher education program and it is kept to use to the process of preparing future teachers. Student teaching is the highest peak of being a student teacher because it is an exercise of substantial lead teaching responsibilities that an educator must practice to have a good quality education. According to Bailan of 2015, we student teachers are provided by a lot of experiences such as teaching, lesson planning, classroom management, classroom observation, and disciplining our students or other experiences that will help us to be better and well prepared in our chosen profession. This pre-service teacher education program aims to let the students experience the real world of teaching and use these experiences to be well prepared in our chosen field. In pre-service teacher education program, we may encounter a lot of frustration and struggles because it is an adjustment between you and your students. According to Lyon of 2014, success and struggles are common aspect of being a teacher and it is a continuous experience that we should learn how to deal with it while doing our best to address the needs of our students. Thank you, Mrs. Palumbergo, and good day to our respected panelists. My name is Erica de Dela Cruz. I am going to discuss our related literature and studies, from foreign literature to local literature. For this chapter includes the ideas from the other studies and literatures that are related to the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers as perceived by the cooperating teachers. Academic year 2019-2020. Gathered information exhibits the different point of views and ideas by the authors that being used by the researcher. According to the study of WAP 2013, the solution to improve instructional quality in K-12 school lies in identifying and recruiting certain kinds of individuals to their professions like stronger commitment and academic talent. According to the study of COP 2015, stated that essential to have teaching an opportunity to pre-service to apply knowledge and skill in actual classroom settings. According to the study of Chari 2015, it is important that the art or science of teaching, it is a theory and practice were introduced to the student teachers for them to apply in actual classroom settings. Thank you, Ms. De La Cruz. Good day to our respective panelists. My name is Linda Magtulis and I will be discussing the foreign-related studies. We have the eight total of foreign-related studies. First, the study of SPASOC 2013 shows that pre-service teachers are prepared to integrate technology into the classroom for it help them improve and enhance student learning and better understanding for the course content. Second is the study of Mapalala 2013 states that mentor teachers role during practice teaching session were assessing student teachers in various area of school functioning including lesson planning and presentation, classroom management, and appropriateness of teaching strategies and resources. Third is the study of Manatoko 2013 which implies that teaching practice is designed to equip student teachers with knowledge and skills for them to teach effectively. It also allows student teachers to apply theories into practice. Fourth is the study of Sai, which says that an effective preparation of good teachers includes an intensive experience with K-12 students under the supervised of experienced teachers. Fifth is the study of Chorus 2016 states that Practice teaching is an integral component of teacher's training for it grants student teachers experiences in real teaching and learning environment. Six is the study of honor 2017 says that it is important
important to preserve teachers to be exposed to a multicultural classroom for them to be equipped and more globally competent educators. Seventh is the study of art. According to him, cooperating teachers were significantly more motivated than challenged in supervising student teachers during internship. The last study is the study of Math School 2018. He said that pre-service teacher is still better prepared than their cooperating teacher model more effective teaching of a coaching in the form of stronger instructional support, more frequent and adequate feedback, and a balance of autonomy and encouragement. Thank you, Ms. Magtulis. Good day to our respective panelists. My name is Leonel S. Angel, and I will be discussing about local related studies. According to the Code of Ethics Professional Teachers, Article 11 of the Republic Act No. 7836, known as Philippine Teachers Professionalization Act, states that every teacher shall uphold the highest possible standards quality of education and shall make the best practices in preparation of teaching career and also shall make the best of all time. Next study is Rosales 2015, says that the importance adequately prepared of student teachers calls attention of the teacher's educator to equip the future teachers up to date their knowledge of the subject content. And the next study is Magno 2016. He determined the student teachers and cooperating teachers practices in 21st century skills, specifically student teacher and cooperating teachers in 21st century were clustered in the following areas, learning skill, literary skills, and life skills. Next study is Pagasian 2017, says that teacher education institutions are established to provide quality and holistic of progressive education. Next study is Soriano 2017, said that practice teaching is the ethics of pre-service education wherein student teachers get the chance to experience in teaching learning process in real setting. The last part of local related studies is Ganal 2016. He said that practice teaching is a course which requires application, theories, concept, and principles surrounding teaching. Um, thank you, Ms. Angel. Good day to our respective panelists. My name is Jennifer Chidoro, and I will be discussing about the synthesis of review. To sum up all the related literatures and studies, according to Rosales 2015, student teachers has a need to cooperate with cooperating teachers to adequately prepare and equip as a future teachers with sufficient and up-to-date knowledge of subject content. So that according to Paghasi and 2017, teacher education institutions are established to provide quality and holistic pre-service education of student teachers because according to Magno 2016, they must be prepared in different competencies since the K-12 program has been implemented in our country that need a very competitive teachers. For our theoretical framework, based on the theory of learning experience or learning by doing, was expounded by American philosopher John Dewey. His views was very important in establishing progress in education. An educative experience, according to Dewey, experience in which we make a connection between what we do, things, and what happens, whereby knowledge is created through a transforming experience. It is a natural form of pre-service education to experience learning by doing and replicating what happens. He inspired many educators to explore and develop the concept of experiential learning. This theory was proposed by psychologist David Cope. That experiential learning theory was different from cognitive and behavioral theories that emphasize the role and mental process. Teaching should come with a passion and engagements to direct students in productive and for our conceptual framework, we have the input, process, and output. 
The model explained how the three processes are interrelated to each other. In the first frame, which is the input, the researchers will describe the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers perceived by their cooperating teachers in terms of teacher's personality, lesson planning, content, teaching methods, classroom management, and questioning skills. In the second frame, which is indicates the process of assessment for the study gathering of the data wherein researchers will conduct a survey using a rating sheet in evaluation form, providing the study in the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teachers in the statistical tool used for the validity of the study. And lastly, which is the output, indicates the outcome of the study providing the input and process on the output, stated the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teachers, academic year 2019-2020. to For our statement of the problem, these are the questions that we're going to find out in our study. Question number one. What is the level of preparedness of student teachers perceived by the cooperating teachers in terms of teacher's personality, lesson planning, content, teaching methods, classroom management, and questioning skills? For question number two, what is the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by the student teachers in terms of teacher's personality, lesson planning, content, teaching methods, classroom management, and questioning skills. For question number three, is there significant difference between the level of preparedness of um, student teachers as perceived by cooperating teachers and student teachers themselves in terms of teacher's personality, lesson planning, content, teaching methods, classroom management, and questioning skills. For question number four, what are the proposed plan in order to increase the level of preparedness of student teachers? All of these four questions will be answered in terms of teacher's personality, lesson planning, content, teaching method, classroom management, and questioning skills. In our hypothesis, there is no significant difference between the level of preparedness as perceived by cooperating teachers as students' teachers in terms of teachers' personality, lesson planning, content, teaching methods, classroom management, and questioning skills. Let's now proceed to our scope and delimitation. On our study, our respondents or participants are the fourth-year biological science student teachers of Colegio de Montalban together with their cooperating teachers with a total of 29 student teachers. For our significance of the study, student teachers, cooperating teachers, students, future researchers, and Colegio de Montalban, those are the ones who benefited in this study. The chapter 2 tackles about research design, research local, respondents or participants, instrumentations, data gathering procedures, and statistical treatments. In our research design, we use the quantitative research to determine the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teachers, academic year 2019-2020. In our research local, we conducted our study at Colegio de Montalban, formerly known as Pamantasan ng Montalban, located at Casiglahan Village, San Jose, Rodriguez, Rizal. For our data gathering procedures, the researchers used a practice teaching evaluation form to know the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teachers, academic year 2019 and 2020, and also used assessment to support the data needed in the study. 
The researchers provided an evaluation sheet form to the cooperating teachers about each student's teachers. The cooperating teachers evaluated the student teachers using a checklist regarding the quality of the practicum of teaching experience. Our study uses statistical treatment to describe the first, the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teachers. Second, the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers as perceived by themselves. Third, to describe if there's a significant difference between the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teachers and themselves. And fourth, to propose a plan to improve the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers in terms of teachers' personality, lesson planning, content, classroom management, and questioning skills. Number three, the results and discussion. This chapter talk about the analysis, presentation, and interpretation of the data gathered. This gave responses to the statement of the problem and hypothesis. On Table 1.1, in teacher's personality category, based on the table showed, the characteristic with highest computed mean is the teacher is neat and well-groomed, which has 3.83, implicates the teacher is well-prepared by its physical appearance during the final demonstration, as well as the teacher must be always be neat and groomed before entering their classes. While the other characteristics having lowest computed mean is the teacher show dynamism and enthusiasm, which has 3.51, implicates that the teacher is not yet too skilled in teaching since they don't have enough skills like the teachers serving for many years in teaching. And the overall computed weighted mean is 3.60, which indicates the student teacher is well prepared in terms of personality. On Table 1.2 in Lesson Planning category, based on the table showed, the characteristic with highest computed mean is an objective and formative test which has 3.75, implicates that the lesson's objective and formative tests are well stated and constructed during the final demonstration. Then according to Condry 2015, learning objectives and formative assessment has possibly impact in student learning. It improves student performance and assesses their progress, strength or weakness in particular topic, school subject or learning in general. While the other characteristics having lowest computed mean is an objective and teaching procedure which has 3.65, implicates that the student teacher is not that fully integrate the teaching procedure. Thus, according to MOVA 2015, teachers who are lack in motivation, skills, training, instructional materials, media resources, and parental support making ineffective in teaching process. And the overall computed weighted mean is 3.69, which indicates the student teacher is well prepared in lesson planning. On table 1.3 in content category, based on the table showed, the characteristic with highest computed mean is the student teacher demonstrate in depth knowledge of the subject matter, which has 3.49 implicates that the student teachers are fully mastered their subject matter during the final demonstration. And according to Dr. Ruth W. Tinguri, 2013, mastery of subject matter is an essential skill to simplify the topic into main points that can be easily understood by the learners. While the other characteristic having lowest computed mean is student teachers did not fully able to relate their lesson to actual life situation which has 3.25, implicates that the student teacher is lacked in terms of real-life scenarios that they can integrate in teaching their lessons. And according to Levy and Horrigan 2016, lesson studies support beginning to enrich experienced teacher, which participants shared experiences related to teaching and learning. And the overall computed weighted mean is 3.31. The 
table showed, the characteristic with highest computed mean is the instructional materials were used to illustrate the lesson by the student teacher, which has 3.62, implicates that the student teachers are well equipped in their materials needed during the final demonstration. And according to Stephen A. Adelik Wu, on his study, the influence of instructional materials on academic performance of senior secondary students on chemistry 2013, instructional materials serve as a medium for teachers and students in delivering instructions, while the other characteristics having lowest computed mean is the student teacher was creative enough to adapt his or her method to the student's capabilities, which has 3.38, implicates that the student teacher is not fully applied their teaching method in some students because of the student's differences in terms of their intelligence and according to the students of BSIP in Leyte, Normal University of the Philippines, with their study, views and preferences in the development of instructional materials, September 2017 and the overall computed weighted mean is 3.51 which indicates the student teacher is well prepared in the teaching method during final demonstration. On table 1.5 in classroom management category, based on the table showed, the characteristic with highest computed mean is the assignment or homework or agreement, practice exercises, and passing in and out of the room, which has 3.55, implicates that the student teachers were able to execute correctly the following mentioned above during the final demonstration. And according to Mastul and Hajiland of Mindanao State University 2017, secondary school teachers' classroom management practices their implication for the academic performance of grade 10 students, organized classroom management leads to effective learning outcomes, proper classroom management improves engagement between teacher and students in learning process, while the other characteristics having lowest computed mean is correcting, distributing, and collecting paper, which has 3.38 implicates that the student teachers are lacking in instructional during the passing of papers because some students did not follow correctly and according to Joel C. Obrador 2014, absenteeism determinants and effects to the students' individual learning of Payapa National High School. Going to school regularly plays an important role for students academically and socially the overall computed weighted mean is 3.49, which indicates the student teacher is well prepared in the classroom management during the final demonstration. In the way the biological practice teachers were well able to prepare managing their class. On table 1.6 in questioning skills category, based on the table showed the characteristic with highest computed mean are the stimulating curiosity and helping students to ask questions with a weighted mean which has 3.59 implicates that the student teachers were able to give some critical questions in their class that will lead them to encourage students to ask questions to clarify their understanding during the final demonstration and according to Tofade 2013, well-crafted questions lead to new insights generate discussions, and promote the comprehensive exploration of subject matter, while poorly constructed questions can stifle learning by creating confusion, intimidating students, and limiting creative thinking, while the other characteristics having lowest computed mean is helping students articulate their ideas and thinking process, which has 3.28 implicates that because of the student teacher's critical questions, students are having some time to think and express their ideas. And the overall computed weighted mean is 3.48, which indicates the student teacher is well prepared in the questioning skills during final demonstration. 
It implies that in terms of questioning, the biological school and teachers were well prepared as assessed by the cooperating teachers. This means that while doing the classroom setup, they were being trained so as when they go out for the training, they have enough training and become effective as classroom teachers. As you can see on the table 2.1, it shows the level of preparedness of biological science student teachers in terms of teacher's personality. The highest weighted mean characteristic of teacher's personality is that a teacher has well-modulated voice with a computed mean of 3.55, which means that the student teachers of biological science has loud and clear voice during their final demonstration that made his students to understand the lesson. In a classroom settings, having well-modulated voice plays an impact to the effectivity of learning of the students. According to Talib 2017, effective communication depends on the teacher's voice while the lowest weighted mean is strong enough to command respect and attention. With a weighted mean of 3.31, which indicates that the students are not interested in following instructions. According to Maazusef 2019, the teacher's personality should strong so that the students will respect him. In Table 2.2, it shows the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by themselves in terms of lesson planning. Based on the computed weighted mean of each characteristics under the lesson planning, the researchers find out that the highest computed weighted mean is that an objective and assignment with a weighted mean of 3.59, which indicates that the lesson's objective and assignment are well constructed during the final demonstration. According to Modifa of 2019, feedbacks and guide of mentors help to improve their performance week by week resulting to productive lesson planning, while the lowest computed weighted mean is that the lesson plan is well prepared with a weighted mean of 3.48, which indicates that the student teacher is not technically prepared their lesson plan. According to Taskin of 2017, preparing a lesson plan is not that easy for student teachers because of adjustments to clearly know the needs of students during his pre-service education program. It takes a lot of opportunities to get in touch with your students to provide their needs in terms of learning preferences. Based on the table, the overall computed weighted mean is 3.60, which indicates that the student teacher is well prepared in his lesson planning. It implies that the student teachers had enough and proper training in constructing and writing a standard daily lesson plan as part of their guide in giving instructions to the class. In Table 2.3, it shows the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by themselves in terms of final demonstration content. Based on the computed weighted mean of each characteristics under the content, the researchers find out that the highest computed weighted mean is that the student teacher demonstrated keeps a burst of new ideas and understanding in the field with a weighted mean of 3.62 which indicates that the student teachers are fully understand the importance of their lesson that they can provide some ideas how they caught the understanding and attention of the students during the final demonstration. According to NPSOF 2018, teachers should have better understanding in teaching and learning to improve the performance of his students. While the lowest computed weighted mean is that the student teachers demonstrate in-depth knowledge of a subject matter with a weighted mean of 3.25 indicates that the student teacher is locked in understanding and lesson itself during the final demonstration. In Table 2.4, it shows the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by themselves in terms of teaching methods. Based on the computed weighted mean of each characteristics under the teaching methods, the researchers find out that the highest computed weighted mean is that the instructional materials were used to illustrate the lesson by the student teacher with a weighted mean of 3.62, which indicates that the student teachers are well equipped in their materials needed during the final demonstration. According to the study, instructional materials are used by the resource teachers to deliver the lesson and instructions clearly and to support students' learning. 
where the lowest computed weighted mean is that the student teachers was creative enough to adapt his method to the student's capabilities with a weighted mean of 3.38 which indicates that the student teacher is not fully applied their teaching methods in some students because of the students differences in terms of their intelligence. According to Angela Clark of 2013, as a teacher, we should have an ability to adapt several methods and activities prior to the multiple intelligences of our learners to stimulate learning and foster creativity. The student teachers are having a hard time to apply several strategies during their final demonstration because of the multiple intelligences of the learners. And the overall computed weighted mean is 4.0 which indicates that the student teacher is well prepared in the teaching methods during their final demonstration. In Table 2.5, it shows the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by themselves in terms of classroom management. Based on the computed weighted mean of each characteristics under the teaching methods, the researchers find out that the highest computed weighted mean is that the assignment, agreement, practice exercises, and passing in and out of the room with the weighted mean of 3.55, which indicates that the student teachers were able to execute correctly the following mentioned during the final demonstration. According to Radhika Kapoor, 2018, classroom management is required to improve the task and function without disruption prior to learning of students. While the lowest computed weighted mean is correcting, distributing, and collecting paper with the weighted mean of 3.38, which indicates that the student teachers are lacking instruction during the passing of papers because some students did not follow instruction correctly. According to Watson 2015, distributing and collecting papers should be enhanced so the students will be focused on the teaching process. Having one member in each group to be responsible in collecting papers can help to practice this in managing class. Student teachers during their final demo may lack of instructions in collecting and distributing papers which resulted for having lowest computed weighted mean. And the overall computed weighted mean is 3.38 which indicates that the student teacher is well prepared in the classroom management during their final demonstration. As you can see on the table 2.6, it shows the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by themselves in terms of questioning skills. Based on the computed weighted mean of each characteristics under the teaching methods, the researchers find out that the highest computed weighted mean are the facilitating factual recall with the weighted mean of 3.62 that indicates the student teachers were able to give some factual questions to recall about their past lessons in their class during their final demonstration. According to neurologist Willis of 2013, there are specific ways to enhance students' ability to recall information. During experiment, teachers' questions were aimed at prediction and reasoning during science experiments when their question oriented towards recognition and recall of factual information. While the lowest computed weighted mean is helping students articulate their ideas and thinking process with the weighted mean of 3.28, which indicates that because of the student teacher's critical questions, students are having some time to think and express their ideas. When student teacher not having fully designed of question that expects a student to answer that has high order thinking skills, question elicit deeper and critical thinking. Still another strategy for helping students to articulate their ideas. According to Freeman of 2014, active learning engages students in the process of learning activities and discussion in class. It emphasizes higher order thinking and often involves group work. And the overall computed weighted mean is 3.86, which indicates the student teacher is well prepared in the questioning skills during their final demonstration. It implies that as a student teachers develop their skills in teacher parallel to its developing the art of questioning, they become comfortable in front of the class because they know the content of their lesson. Table 3 shows that the teacher's result between the level of preparedness of student teachers as preserved by cooperating teachers and themselves with the different category. 
The first one is the personality with a computed t-test of 1.428 with a significant figure of 0 0.164. Second is the lesson plan, resulted t-test of 0 0.668 with a significant figure of 0 0.510. Third is content, resulted t-test is 1.861 with a significant figure of 0 0.73. Fourth is teaching method, resulted t-test as 0.77 with a signific significant figure of 0.940. We researchers found out that the first four category, which are the personality, lesson plan, content, and the teaching methods, that there is no significant difference between the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by the cooperating teachers and the student teachers. Thus, no hypothesis is accepted. The last two categories are classroom management and questioning skills. The computed t-test of classroom management is 1.789 with a significant figure of 0.005. The researchers found out that the last two categories, which the classroom management and questioning skills is that there is a significant between the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teachers and the student teachers. Thus, the hypothesis is rejected. And according to Batugal 2019, asking divergent question is one of the weaknesses of pre-service teachers. Weakness were identified art of questioning which draw attention and interest of the students. She also said that another factor is handling students' misbehavior. Somewhat, beginner teachers have less confidence about classroom management, especially in behavior management, as cited by Stephenson 2013. But Dougal added that pre-service teacher must be supported with in-service in trainings to be more effective and globally competent in teacher education program. shows action that are significant part of preparation in exploring the best practices in teaching profession in which the following preparation, demonstration, engagement, professional knowledge, special topic, courses attended, self-management, questioning skills, and classroom management. This also shows the uses and effects of these strategies to help student teachers grow, improve, and become a well-prepared teachers. So demonstration is required to us to be done as a pre-service teacher to be evaluated by experienced teacher. It is significant action for pre-service teachers to experience a real world teaching as well as in classroom setting. A passion and desire to teach makes it more fun and easier. This is give wisdom and eagerness of pre-service teachers to be an effective educators of For our summary of the personality based on the computed in test result between the level of preparedness of a student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teacher and student teachers themselves in terms of teacher personality the computed t test result is 0 0.4 it is pressed that the computed t test is greater than the critical value the null hypothesis was just rejected so therefore they are significantly different Computed t-test result between the level of preparedness of a student teachers in terms of lesson planning. The result of computed t-test between the level of preparedness of a student teachers as perceived by cooperating teacher and student teachers in terms of lesson planning is 0.73. Express that the computed t-test is greater than the critical value. The null hypothesis was just rejected. So therefore, they are significantly different. And computed t-test result between the level of preparedness of a student teachers in terms of content. The 
result of computed key tests between the level of preparedness of a student teachers as perceived by cooperating teachers and student teachers in terms of content is 0.05 it is expressed that the computed key test is greater than the critical value the null hypothesis was just rejected so therefore they are significantly different Computed t-test result between the level of preparedness of a student teachers in terms of teaching methods. The result of computed t-test between the level of preparedness of a student teachers as perceived by cooperating teachers and student teachers in terms of teaching methods is 0.01. It expressed that the computed t-test is greater than the critical value. The null hypothesis was just rejected. So therefore, they are significantly different. Computed t-test result between the level of preparedness of student teacher in terms of classroom management. The result of computed t-test between the level of preparedness of a student teachers as perceived by cooperating teacher and student teachers in terms of classroom management. Is 0.65. It is expressed that the computed key test is greater than the critical value. The null hypothesis was just rejected. So therefore, they are significantly different. Computed key test result between the level of preparedness of a student teachers in terms of questioning skills. The result of computed key test between level of preparedness of a student teachers as perceived by cooperating teachers and student teachers in terms of questioning skills. 0.06, it expressed that the computed t-test is greater than the critical value. The null hypothesis was just rejected. Therefore, they are significant different. Based on the findings stipulated above the following conclusions were formulated. The researcher revealed that there is significant difference between the level of preparedness of student teachers as perceived by their cooperating teachers and student teachers. Computed average score using evaluation sheets of different characteristics of a student teachers, some factors that researchers concluded as the result in this study. First thing is the teacher personality. The researchers found out that the highest computed weighted mean is that teacher is neat and well-groomed with a weighted mean of 3.83, which indicates that the teacher prepared well its self's physical appearance during the final demonstration, and the overall computed weighted mean is 3.60. So we conclude that student teachers is well prepared in terms of personality based on their cooperating teacher. When it comes to the level of preparedness of student teacher perceived by the Based on the conclusion, the following recommendations were first, the practice teacher should build an intentions in following instructions. If we practice to follow instructions correctly, we will be able to develop our skills and knowledge and that makes a productive teachers. We should easy to approach by our mentors because they will give advices and suggestions to improve our output and teaching experiences. Also, teachers are indeed important because they will be the one to guide us in fulfilling our task. A teacher should bring positive influence and motivational acts to guide practice teachers. An experience of an educated teacher in teaching process, class management, methods, and ethics will adopt by his practice teacher that makes them to train well and be ready for their real field. In order to deploy the student teachers to let them experience the real world of teaching, the, sh the school should be responsible for it. They are needed to expose to the classroom settings to acquire the skills and knowledge of an experienced teacher. And lastly, it is also recommended that future researchers should use this study as a reference of getting answers to same questions. This is also an awareness of how preparation is important to teaching process since our country aims to develop globally competitive teachers.